Hey YouTube, um, back again with this build and I, I'm basically done. I've got everything painted. Um, had to do a little crash course welding on some some tabs that'll hold in the glass because I forgot to to weld the the nuts on them. So not the prettiest welds and had to hurry the hell up before my paint dried up in my gun. But anyway, um, let me show you what paint I'm using. We'll give you a full review on this stuff when it dries. Sorry about the huge mess in my shop. Okay, here's what we got. We got a paint from Magnet Paints called Chassis Saver. Stops rust. See that? Um, this is some pretty impressive stuff from what I've seen. This is the first time I've actually sprayed it on my own. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Um, most people brush this stuff on. And if you look at the logo right there, you can actually see a brush in the middle of magnet paint. But you can spray it, and I chose to spray it. This is the first time I've ever sprayed anything. So it's not the best quality, but, you know, as long as the paint does what it's supposed to do and holds up strong like it, like I've seen it, we're, we're in good shape. Um, with this paint, it, it's, a, it's for frames and stuff like that. Um, you can paint right over rust. You cannot put primer down before it. It needs to bond with the metal. Uh, if you're interested in, in knowing more about this, go down to the description, click on the link, check out their website. They're based out of Long Island, New York. Um, Amityville to be exact, which is kind of funny because of the Amityville horror stuff. Anyways, um, read all the, the directions and stuff. The, on how to use this particular paint. They do have it on their website. Um, real finicky. It can't be a smooth surface at all. It's got to be roughed up. Um, it can go over other paint, but again, it's got to be roughed up. They recommend going directly on top of metal, you know, directly on top of rust. You know, not loose rust, but they want some sort of a texture for this to go on top of because it needs to grab a hold of it. And let me tell you, when it does grab a hold, it ain't coming off of there. So you can't thin it out with just regular paint thinner. You have to get their product. It's an S8 reducer. This stuff is really cheap anyways. Um, I forget how much I paid for it, but it's, it's really cheap. They have the full price list on their website as well. Um, website's a little bit on the, I would say, cheesy side, not to insult them or nothing, because I know it's a, a small business. But, you know, it is what it is. It gets you get all the information you need on there. So um, I'm not going to clear coat it. I'm not going to put any anything on top of it. This is not. This is is not okay to be out in the sun. Okay, it's UV sensitive, big time. Uh, apparently, it'll start chalking up and 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 discoloring because right now it's a gloss black and it'll end out supposedly changing to like a, a charcoal gray if it's being beat on by the sun. But this is not going to be outside like a car would. This is going to be an indoor display. So I figured it'd be a good paint to try on because it's very durable. You can smack it around with a hammer, bang on it. And I haven't seen it chip, not on the samples that I've seen. Hopefully my experience is just as good as everybody else's. Again, most people brush it on. They still use reducer, as far as I understand you're supposed to anyways, but, you know, I sprayed. I, I think I'm one of the very few that have opted to spray this stuff. Um, let me put this back, and I'll try to get you a close-up. You know, I didn't prep this as well as I should. It's kind of in a hurry. Tomorrow's the last day I need to be done with this project. Tomorrow. So this paint needed plenty of time to dry. I gave the customer 7 to 10 business days. Tomorrow's the 10th business day, so I need to have this bolted together and ready to go. So, anyway, I just hung, it, hung everything from the, the trusses so that I can paint them all in one shot. The thing says to do two to four coats, and it says to wait like three hours before you do a second coat. 
I didn't follow instructions, so hopefully it's not that big of a deal. I basically, I spray it on a, a good, good decent coat, and then took off to, I guess I could have sprayed right here a little bit better, whatever. Too late now. Anyways, then I took off to, to weld all these up. These are the tabs that, that will hold the window frame, and there's going to be bolts through those that will crank down on this frame and sandwich the, the glass in there. So anyway, as soon as I was done with those, I hung those up and sprayed those and then came back over here and, and did a second coat on everything. So again, hopefully, hopefully I don't regret it. I wish I had more light in here because now that I get a little bit closer, I can see some spots that didn't really get hit real good. Um, I don't think it matters too much because again, this is the customer wasn't too concerned about how this looked at all. Just wanted it to, to do its job and be strong enough to do its job. So I think I think it looks good. I think it I think it looks every bit the part that it's supposed to. Um, I can tell you right now, spraying this you know, it, this stuff smooths out really, really well. I'm trying to look for some orange peel or anything, and I don't see any. You know, and I've never sprayed before. You can see all the the spatter that's showing up like fucking, like you wouldn't believe. I didn't realize there was that much spatter there, but whatever. Too late. Um, anyway... But yeah, I don't see any orange peel. This stuff is smoothing itself out really, really well. Almost too well because it's showing all the, the imperfections with the dust and the spatter on here. Um, that's obviously in worse shape than some of this other stuff because this other stuff required a lot less welding. I do have one small run right there that I just noticed. Um, the first, the first coat that I put on here, I don't think I put enough reducer. And the reason I say I have a LV LP gun, low volume, low pressure, by Spray It, made by um, California Air Tools. I know it looks like an HV, um, HVLP, but it's not. It's low volume, low pressure. This, I used the gravity feed. I did not use this, this um, siphon feed. But somehow I got paint on it. Anyway, it worked really, really well. I've, I've never sprayed before, and so I probably had all the settings all the way wrong. I tried to measure out the, the reducer as well as possible, and I think the first time I, I filled it in, in the first batch, I think I was too thick because it, it didn't really come out of the gun very well. Um, it did come out, but it, it, it just wasn't flowing very well at all. Um, second batch, I know I had a little bit more reducer in there, maybe maybe even a little bit too much. And it, it came out a lot better, much, much better. So i got to find a, you know, if I keep using this product, i got to find a, a happy medium between the two and and go from there. I have a little bit left and what I'm probably going to do, depending on what this looks like in the morning, if this is good to go in the morning, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to do any more coats. You know, I'm going to look underneath and make sure I don't have any, you know, shitty areas where I didn't, you know, huge areas where I didn't cover that well like here, but, you know, obviously much bigger areas than that. That's just kind of the corner. Um, if everything's good and I feel like the coverage is good, then I'm probably going to use that paint to paint the table base, my welding table base, um, just because. I don't know, though. It, it's, it's hard for me to say at the moment just because that thing's fucking ridiculously heavy. Um, I'll think about it. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'm happy with it. I, I honestly am. Um, there's going to be a follow-up tomorrow. I'm not even going to pull that hair off of there. There's a hair right there. There's going to be a follow-up tomorrow on what I think of it when it's dry. And, and I'll let you guys know from there. I've got this 
this little piece of metal here that I was using as a mixing stick I believe it's got a little bit too much reducer on it but I'm pretty positive this is going to dry on here at least a little bit and when it does I'm going to use that as an example because I'm going to beat the shit out of that with a hammer and see how well it holds up. I'm obviously not going to bang on this because I need to get it out of here. But uh, I'm going to beat up on that piece of metal and see how well it works. <clears throat> but I've got my wood burning stove going. It was like 40 degrees in here and they say not to spray in this anything below 50. So I got it up, actually I had it up to about 70 degrees in here, 70, 75 degrees, and it was just getting too fucking hot. Um, obviously I needed some ventilation going on in here. That heater doesn't work, but the fan does on it. So I had, I turned the fan on and opened the garage door and, and it blew, it cleared this, you know, the overspray out of here pretty quickly. So... I mean, there's still some in here, but that's just because I sprayed a little bit more and haven't opened the doors yet. But I'm happy, man. Let me let me know what you guys think of this. Again, first time ever using you know using a professional grade spray gun and and spraying anything more than spray paint. And yeah, again, I, I'm happy. I'll let you guys know what's going on tomorrow. Go down to the comment box, click on the link to my Facebook page, Alvarez Metalworks. Um, check out the California Air Tools link. I'll, I'll link it directly to the, the spray gun kit that I have. They've got a few different spray guns. They've also got this compressor. And let me, let me tell you what. You guys think that these compressors, these little small compressors can't hang? Well, this one can. Okay, this is 4.6 gallons. It's got a bunch of overspray on it. <laughs> 4.6 gallons um, 5.3 CFM at 90 PSI 7 PSM at 40 PSI um, model number is 4620A this thing is not only is it really damn quiet but it it hung in there it was running non-stop and they say that you can run this thing non-stop for for an hour it was running non-stop and, and you know I let it take a little bit of a break so I didn't ruin it but it hanged in there I didn't lose I didn't lose air pressure it maintained its air pressure and it, it was it was doing really really well um, the only thing I would recommend you know because I'm spraying this this stuff they're, they're telling me to, to kind of hurry it up with it because I guess it'll harden up in the gun and I'm not trying to ruin the the gun I just got you know, and, and again, I'm, this is my first experience with it, so I could just be paranoid, but I was trying to hurry it up. I could have let the compressor stop a little bit and cool off and, and whatnot, but it, it handled it. It did well. I've got this moisture trap, and I can definitely tell that it's got some moisture in it. Um, what I did was I ran one, I believe it's 25 or 30 foot hose. To the moisture trap and because I don't have this set up properly I just kind of draped it over this then I have my 50 foot hose that I was going to the gun from there and this is actually the first time ever that I've collected moisture in this trap and there's probably some in the tank so let me let me actually open that you guys can take a look uh, turn this off it's gonna get loud just because I'm opening the air couple drops <laughs> not bad huh there we go now this this is a Harbor Freight filter here and it's got a you know it, it'll empty itself when the pressure is gone so the little bit of dropping is down there that you see that's the moisture that it collected so I, I think it did great I honestly think you know I'm not gonna paint a car with this setup you know I obviously need to get a proper setup when I'm ready to actually do some serious painting you know as far as filters and you know and, and, and just having stuff a little bit better situated than I do with this and obviously prep work as well um, 
I do plan on painting my truck my truck though with that sprayer with that compressor I just got to do some practicing and you know try to make sure that when once I do it that I'm getting the best quality finish I can so anyway again head down to the con or the description click on Alvarez Metalworks face page, Facebook page like it comment on it show your support check out the pictures um, like this video subscribe to the channel I've got a lot of videos on my channel and, and uploading almost daily so comment on this let me know what you think check out the two links um, one's going to be for actually there's there's going to be three links one for armor one armored one which is the company I'm building this for um, one's for the California air tools website I'm just going to give you the main link because they also make that compressor so that compressor and that spray gun are on their website just look down the, the menu on the left and you'll see and then I'm going to give you the link to, to magnet paints for the chassis saver paint alright talk to you guys later bye